Hi everyone, Jane here. This is a video of me showing you a different ways to grow dragon fruit from seeds. This is the soil method, this is the mini greenhouse method, and this is the ziplock method. First I want to show how the ziplock is. It's like it, a dome. I blew air into it because I didn't want the plant to get squished or to get flat as it starts to grow, so it has room to grow, which is very helpful. And also, for this one, I only watered it once. When I put the seeds in, I watered it, and that was that. For this one right here, I had to water it three times a day because since it is, you know, an open space, um, the tissue gets dried up pretty quickly, pretty fast, so I did have to put water. Now, I didn't, like, bathe it in water. I just kept the tissue moist, so don't drown your seeds in water. Just enough to make the tissue moist. And this one right here, I water this at least once a day. So the greenhouse method really works. I mean, as you can see, it's all of them. They all work. So it's just, you know, whatever you want to do. If you don't have soil, then you can grow them in that. But, you know, you only really need a small container and little soil. So this one right here, almost all of them germinated, as you can see right there. And they're pretty leggy, meaning, you know, they're pretty thin and pretty tall. So, but it works, so I'm happy with that one. And this one right here worked as well, and um, only put a few in this one. Because I knew the Ziploc method would really work, that's why I didn't put a lot, because I didn't want to have too many. This one, I didn't think it was going to work, so I put a lot of seeds in, they all germinated on me. And also, oh yeah, I'm going to share, um, this one right here was placed um, by um, in my patio, and it's getting the morning sun. This one right here was placed um, by my window and it was getting the afternoon sun. And this one was placed in my kitchen counter and it's in direct sunlight. So, you know, they're all growing for me. And one thing I want to share about the soil is I did put a lot of seeds in this one and I'm surprised that only four germinated. So, I guess the success, the germination rate on soil is pretty hard. Because I don't know, I might have planted it too deep or whatnot. And this one right here, they all germinated. And this one right here, all germinated. I'm going to try to take this one out real quick. So, without hurting the, the plant itself. But, um, yeah, they all will work. So, you can really grow dragon fruit seeds from, from any one of these three methods. So, and here's the other one. And as you can see also, it's pretty leggy and pretty tall. So... And this one, the great thing about this one is it's thick. Look at the plant. It's pretty healthy, and the leaves are thicker. This one is eight days old. This one, I think, is six days old. And this one, I think, is also six days old. So, yeah, six, six, and eight days. So, this one did have a head start, so maybe the rest of them will get thicker and fatter. So, I will give these probably a few more days in this method and we'll see how well it gr it goes and um this one we'll see how this one will grow now this one's doing really good so but not all of the seeds germinated so but i'm not disappointed because i have a few more seeds here that are you know seeds that germinated so i will have a lot of dragon plants so thanks for watching everyone bye